Hello, I'm Noel, this is Antonio from Boxtail Soup Theatre Company and this week we have been working on the props and the set and the puppets for The Wind in the Willows uh, because that show is going to be going out on tour with Gulliver um, in a couple of weeks time. We start rehearsals next week, this week we have just been looking at all the stuff that we made for that show because it was made in yeah, we had this we, debate earlier and we can't quite remember. We think it might be 2016, 2017, something like that. But we can't quite remember exactly exactly when it was. So the stuff that we made obviously has been out on tour a lot. It's been used a lot and we've done a lot of performances of previously of The Wind in the Willows. So it's been put up and put down. And also there's the fact that we made it a little while ago. So we uh, have learned a lot more as we've gone along. You know, as we always say, you kind of learn your go and you're always improving on what you're doing. So when we got it all out again, some of it is just wear and tear and some of it just needed uh, a bit of a spruce up. A lot of it just needed kind of touching up the paint and stuff like that um, because of, you know, it had been sat and some of it gets stuck to each other. And then there were a couple of little things that we actually wanted to to have a look at and improve. Yeah, kind of revisit. Mm. So the first thing we decided that we wanted to do a, a bit of a, a slightly more major overhaul on was the toad puppet. So uh, just to quickly explain, for this show, there are three performers, Noel and I and another, and we play Ratty, Molly and Badger, and then Toad, and we all have our sort of, uh, we have a small fabric puppet counterpart for the show. Mm -hmm. And that puppet's used for all sorts of different things. And then, there's Toadie, and Toadie is either a large puppet or a small puppet. And it was the large puppet that we wanted to have a little look back over. In particular, the way his head is attached to his body. Mm. So his body has a, an elastic skeleton running through it. So it's a fabric torso, tube legs and arms, elastic going through the whole lot. So that when you you step on his feet, you can kind of basically you can stretch him out, can't you? You can stretch the arms out, his legs go out. And yeah, because that's connected all bigger. the way through. Yeah, it's fun. He does it. He does it a couple of moments in the show, but it's a nice. Yeah, it's a nice thing. trick. And uh, and then his head is a, is attached to that elastic at the top. So when we first did it, it's probably best if you explain how we did it. Yeah. So we wanted his head to be very mobile and to be very free to look around all over the place. The head itself is very much like Froggy from Little Grim Tales. Yeah, Froggy so, was made off the template. Yeah, based off that, that same thing. So it is just a kind of uh, a flapping mouth piece of cardboard with a hinge at the back and then two kind of semi-circular or semi-spherical uh, pieces. And then on the back of that, on that hinge, we had attached a D-ring of wire so we had this, it had a flat edge and then a, a, a loop like that that the head sort of sat in. And that was attached along that hinge and then at the bottom of the D-ring that was attached to the body. And what that meant was it could turn and then it could look up and down because it would sort of swivel on that piece of wire without moving this ring. Um, so it did give it a lot of mobility but it looked quite ugly. Yeah, we had a look back over it and we just thought mm, we wouldn't have done it the same way now. I think that was the point. So we decided to take his head off to replace it with the new one. So we have a little video of Noel detaching his head. You can watch that now. So this is the Toad, Mr. Toad puppet from our Wind in the Willows. And uh, because it's going out again, we are having a look at things, seeing what needs repairing, if anything needs changing. So he's got this odd sort of system where his head is connected to his body with this wire loop um, because he was made a while ago. The way that we've made puppets since then, we've found what we think is a, is a better way of attaching the heads. So sadly for Mr. Toad, well, sadly for the time being, I'm now going to uh, cut his head off and cut the pieces of wire and uh, yes, remove his head before we put it back on in a better way. I uh, actually had to stop filming at one point when Noel was doing that because I just felt so sad for Tony. It's like, I can't do it this, too, I can't film it. Too brutal. It's too brutal. Like so to cut cut this. Yeah. However, we, we took that off and then we decided to reattach the head as per the way we do it now, really. I think it's fair to say. So Froggy's head is attached with a ribbon 
and from Froggy onwards really we started to attach puppets heads with ribbon so uh, we've shown you that before with the Christmas Carol puppets with the Hansel and Gretel ones etc they've got a, a piece that's added just over the top of where your middle fingers go in at the top of the head uh, that then the ribbon sits over that so effectively then the weight the, the, the body is dangling off this part of your hand which mm. actually feels better anyway doesn't it when you're yeah it's easier to support and it also kind of helps with that thing of not Chucking flapping the, the top back, of the head yeah. because the weight's resting on that it's actually easier then to just move the lower jaw isn't it so we've done the same thing with Toadie we've put one of those on I've stitched velcro to ribbon which then the ribbon is velcroed onto the back of that and then tied in through the elastic so you can see brand new Toadie now. So here he is now, having had his head reattached. Um, as you can see, it looks much better, particularly here, obviously. Yeah, so compared to the photo where you would have seen that white ring underneath and his head would have been sat very slightly further away because you have this sort of space under here, it looks just a bit neater and a bit better connected. Uh, and he can still look down, as you can see. Um, if someone has got the back, and he can do a really nice mm -hmm. look all the way down. Um, maybe just spin him around so you can see exactly what the... Sorry, his feet are slightly wet, so I'm just being a little bit careful because I just repaired the face of his feet. Uh, oops. Got it? Yeah, right. there you go. So yeah, like uh, Antonio was saying, we've got this sort of ring over the top here, which is where the hand sits in. So the weight rests on top and then the ribbon comes down the sides and attaches to the body. And the other really good thing about it this way as well is that we can actually detach his head. So when for packing, that's actually really helpful. Yeah, um, makes it much easier. Much, much it? easier. So all good. Mm. <laughs> so as you can see, I, I mean, I think one of the main things about that is it, it, it looks just, it just looks more attractive. You can't see this big ring of wire anymore. Instead, you've got a neat bit of ribbon. So he's, mm -hmm. It's sort of almost invisibly attached to his body without that being weird. I yeah, think. and I think it feels a little more, the head just feels more connected to the body. It just feels, you know, just looks better. Yeah. In our opinion. And and it works, I mean, pretty much. We double checked, didn't we? Once we put it together, we were like, is this okay? Is he still as movable as he was? Yeah, I think maybe you, when, he's, when he's standing up and you the get full less. weight is on your hand, if you've got no support from any other puppeteers, then maybe you lose a little bit of that. But it, that's a f perfectly fair trade-off. And it's, really, he can still look down. Absolutely. So it's sort of, yeah. Exactly yeah. And when he's sat, or if, there's, if there is another puppeteer, just one of the puppeteer with you, because we do sometimes have three on him, yeah. then he gets all of the mobility back. It's, there's no difference. So that was Tony. And mm. then the other thing, the other main thing that we wanted to fix up were the trees. So we've, I think yeah. we've got a photograph, have we probably, for a production shot or something, yeah. which we can put up now. So you can see our trees they concertina out. I think we mentioned this last week. And they've always been a little bit of a pain, mm. I think. Yeah, so those trees were a sort of precursor to the stuff that we made then for Little Grim Tales and Great Grim Tales. And what we learned from the Wind in the Willows, we definitely used in Grim Tales. The Wind in the Willows ones, because we wanted them to fit into a trunk, they were made of smaller pieces of uh, foam board, so they're made of each section is made of four pieces that are concertinaed and then there's then four of them that stack on top of each other. So the trouble with that is there's a lot of points of weakness. There's a lot of points at which they can Wiggle kind of, points. yeah, absolutely, mm. or whether it doesn't quite align. And uh, originally we only had one little connector, little acorn as we call them, between each one of those concertina pieces. And, and it just wasn't kind enough. Of piece of pizza box which oh, we added addition, in fact it? yeah we added that because we had this problem where they would twist yeah because uh, they get they pulled like out that. that's the point really they're not static they don't stay because if they stayed in one position it wouldn't have mattered so much no it's because they get pulled they have to be moved around yeah. during the show yeah so uh we revisited those as well we've we've removed the little cardboard strips that we struck stuck on because they were dreadful they were a nightmare yeah they were uh <laughs> and what we've done is similar to uh, what we've done with the little grim trees and the great grim, uh, yeah, yeah. And the great grim. We've added more of those little acorns, so there's just a few extra points on each one of those panels uh, where it holds the, the thing together, so that it can't slip away from its kind of the bit that it's sitting on. We're yet to put them together again. Yeah, we say all this very boldly. Maybe they. <laughs> maybe so we really hope work. that it will work. 
If it doesn't, then we do have other things up our sleeves for the great grim ones. We have the acorns and then they started to move away from each other a bit. So we put a bit of Velcro. Potentially we can do something, mm. an extra security thing if we needed to. I'm really hoping yeah, that, I think that'll be all right. we won't. I, think that'll be all right. I was confident. Yeah. And they've also been repainted because they were, they were probably the worst really, weren't they? In terms of uh, bits of paint coming away and just looking a bit... Just looking a little edges. bit chatty. I mean, under theatre lights, it always surprises me. You step away from it, you know, when we're looking at things up close, they always look far worse. But, Be, but from a couple of metres away, yeah, it yeah. never looks quite so bad, does it? But nonetheless, it's nice to... That's what I rely on these days. I don't let anyone get too close. <laughs> don't get too close. Uh, oh, that's me. <laughs> um, I just realised what you meant. Um, uh, but that's really all we've done, apart from then a little bit of extra spray painting, as you said. There was nothing else that was majorly damaged or anything. Um, yeah, other things really have been about preparation for the tour. So, as always, all the logistics that go into it, like booking the accommodation, getting all the print done, and sending that stuff out. Um, so yeah, we're we're sort of looking forward to getting back to rehearsing Wind of the Willows and getting it. Up on yeah, it'll be fun. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Um, I think that's all for today. But if you are enjoying the vlogs, please do give us a like, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave us a comment, ask any questions you would like. We haven't forgotten that people have asked questions from last week. We will promise to get back to you. Um, this week's been a bit busy, but we will. And uh, otherwise we will see you next time.